Hello everybody, Andrea Trowski here and welcome inside my Dental Hygiene Dental L student program. So this is for um, dental hygiene students who are still currently in school, even if you've now signed up to take um, the dental hygiene program. Now is a good time to start because I was a student once too and it was really, really hard and it would have been nice to have some help. So I am here to help you because inside this um, course you have access to help with everything. Plus I am here to help you to talk to you, to be your shoulder to cry on anytime. So this is what it looks like. And first and foremost, make sure to click on the private um, um, access inside your private um, Facebook page. So click on that and it will take you to this page here because this is for um, members only, which is excellent because I have mock exams in here, again, for members only. So if you click um, comment here, you will see them on all the different topics. So always make sure to click um, view more and then more, of course, um, pop up. Because I typically put in these mock exams, I change them up, um, I put in new ones once a week, sometimes even twice a week. So let's say you have a test tomorrow or next week on dental anatomy. You know, click on that and then it will take you here. And then I have a series of questions and answers. So if you decide to um, test yourself with a normal test, um, matching or whatever, it is all right here. Um, if you would like to do it the easiest way, I find, um, click on um, learn and then it will take you here right away. So it has a question and multiple choice answers, which is awesome, right? And this is a lot easier and more exciting to study than if you're trying to study your notes that you've looked at a million times anyway, right? So this just makes it easier. Um, so let me move back to the Facebook page here. Plus, we have a live tutoring session um, once a week on Sundays. And I post the link to our sessions as well, um, only here. So for members only, I post it and it looks like this. So our case studies um, sessions are every week on a Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So I'll post the link to our um, case study session, usually at 7.30 in the evening, sometimes 7.45. But that is all right here. But also, if you're not able to attend live, um, moving back inside the membership login area, you just have to click here, um, recorded sessions of 2017, click that and then you will see all of them right here. So last Sunday we worked on dental um, materials. So you click on that and to make it larger, you just have to click the corner right here. So I talk about a lecture a little bit. Hello, that's me. <laughs> and then we go through questions and answers on case studies. So I always like to do them. I may seem a little bit strange, but I like them and I try to make it as exciting as possible for you guys. Plus um, the Sunday before that we did infection control. So same thing, you just have to click that and see the whole thing once again. You can watch it three times if you want, 10 times if you want. I do not mind because they are here until you pass everything. So they will always be here for you. And same thing, I do a lecture first and then we go through um, sorry guys, just a little bit slow. I was trying to sh uh, show you guys some questions and answers, but here we go. So I do a short little lecture and then we go through everything. So those are the session recordings. What else did I want to show you guys? Oh yes, the modules, of course. So try not to be too overwhelmed with the modules because it depends on if you're in your first semester, if you're in your last semester, if you're in your third semester, you know, so only look at the topics that you need to know. So let's say you have a test tomorrow on practice and theory, you know, look through that module now. You know, if you have a test in a month on oral facial anatomy, I would wait to look at that until at least a week or two weeks before. Because if you try to look at everything, you will quickly become overwhelmed. And I don't want that to happen to you because I'll show you. So let's say you have a test on oral facial. So click on that. So there's tons in here as well, tons of different PowerPoints. So let's just click on the first one for the heck of it. Um, it's a larger one, so it just takes a second to upload. Sorry about that. But um, so every module will probably take you guys at least two weeks to look over depending on the topic. Um, this one's a larger one. So let's see how many slides this is. I think it's just opening now. 
but um, like if you have a PowerPoint that's 20 slides, then you can probably look through everything in two hours. But if you have a PowerPoint, oh, for example, this one is 139 slides. Okay, so you aren't supposed to look at this for two hours and that's it. Like this will take you for 139 slides, like this will take you guys probably studying this for two hours every day for a week. And that's normal. Um, I find a lot of people try to study too quickly and that does not help you either. So at the most, I suggest studying six hours a day at the most. At the least, I'd say two hours. So do try to study a little bit every day. Um, if you do have to work after school, I know that that's a little bit harder, obviously. Um, I had to work after school too um, when I was a student. So I would typically study on the way um, to my work because it took me about an hour to get to work. I took the bus and then I took the subway. So it took me about an hour. So I would study before work and after work. And then I would study once I got home too for about an hour. So I typically studied three hours a day if I had to work. But then on the weekends, I had to work sometimes, but not every weekend. So I would take the full six hours to study as much as I could. Now, I do suggest if you're going to study pretty much all day, study two hours in the morning, study two hours in the afternoon and two hours in the evening, that's it. Because if you try to study for like eight hours every day, that's not helping you. And you'll be thinking to yourself, okay, I studied for eight hours today, but I don't remember anything. And that's how it happens. So a little bit at a time helps. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Um, so yeah, you guys, so these are the modules. Again, there's tons here. So when you sign up, only look at the topics that you have to know um, tomorrow for the week. I'd say look ahead two weeks at the most. But let me know so that I can help you guys. Like I had a student um, this week who has a test on histology today. They have a test on oral facial tomorrow, a test on oral pathology the next day. Um, and then they have a test on dental materials, I believe it was on Monday. So she kind of said to me, how the heck am I supposed to study for all of this? So I am helping her. So let me know and then I can help you because you want to study only a couple hours per topic a day. If you try to study for six hours for oral facial anatomy, for example, that's too much and you will not know anything. It sounds silly, but trust me, I know what I'm talking about. So I can help you. Um, okay, you guys, plus if you have any questions moving over here, once again, all you have to do is ask me right here. I typically check the messages every two hours. If I'm teaching, it's every four hours. So it's not, it's not always right away, but if you have questions, ask me here so that I can help you because you have full access to me literally all the time because that's how I can help you, right? If you have questions, if you're like, I'm trying to study a topic, I don't know what I'm doing, can you just help me like now? Yes, I can help you because this is for members only. So yeah, guys, I hope I answered all of your questions. If you think of anything though, please let me know. And um, as always, uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you for listening. I will see you all very, very soon.